Hey, hey, hey. Above freezing for the first time in a while. So I'm out working on that pump setup. I got the tank with some legs on it. Grinder and paint, welder I ain't. It's not bolted down yet, but it will be. I have this, which I scavenged from Dad. Thanks, Dad. Um, it had a Dodge sticker on it. He said it came out of a Ford, he thought. Anyways, it's an old, obviously, fuel filter nozzle. And that's going to go right there, or rather. It's going to go right up there, so to speak. But I can't just have it a flippity flopping around. Get some Gates fuel hose. So I'm going to make this a little piece of angled aluminum, and I will cut in an inset for that filler nozzle, and then I can use the mounting holes it already has. Just two of them, but that'll be good enough. Pumps right here. Again, we're not bolted in yet. It's a touch inconvenient this way, because somehow I've got to get, you know, my output it's going to mean that I'm sucking without a filter before the pump, but it's a pretty horrifying big cast iron dragging vein pump. So we really need a fuel filter after it regardless. So I'm just going to let her eat, eat whatever nasties come out of the tank and then go ahead and filter out. So I guess I'll have to come out at an angle and, you know, I was thinking I can hang my fuel filter right here. It's an awful lot hanging off this post. Might have to come up with a brace or a gusset or whatnot. But on the other hand, it's not like it takes a lot of abuse. If I had everything really nice and neat right here, I can cover it with a bucket. Rain hat. And as far as mounting this in, I got a single 3/8 hole down there. I'll put some spacers, and so she'll be bolted both ends and then uh, through the bed to hold it from wobbling side to side. One of these will get plugged and then somehow I'll have to come out of there. This is the tank vent to the other one. So whether or not this cap will vent enough that I can pump out of it, but I figured I could always loosen the cap. Well, that sounds like a recipe to lose it with the sloshing motion, even if I come up and over, I'm going to dribble all sorts of fuel every time I drive it. We'll see. If, uh, if we're having venting problems, I can, I can always loosen the cap. And I'll just try not to lose it. Look at that cut. I'm sure I got a job waiting for me in the aerospace industry. But anyways, that goes on there. Now I just need to get this marked and installed and then I can drill it to mount it and then mount it and then that part's done. Cut up my tube. That'll look fine. Mm. Precision. Absolute precision. That's pretty nice. We'll sit right there. It's a little high, but still easy enough to get to. It'll give some support, not much, to this. It's not going to get in the way at all. Like I said, I'm thinking of coming out and uh, maybe at a bit of an angle, and I'll hang the, the fuel filter right here. And then come out of that into the hose. And the fuel filter has a one-way check valve in it. And a water separator built into it. So that'll be just fine. I suspect this isn't out of the Ford. I think it's the fuel filter out of my Dodge. Because there's nothing in the door. Because we have the external tank in the back. 
That's where I think this thing came from. So, a little bit of the blue Dodge on the red trailer. Now I need to figure out how to get from there to there. It's a little big. I wonder if I could tap inside that and screw in. I just want to use a piece of 3 8 yeah, That's something to consider. There's a little threads in there. A little meat for threads in there. Not a lot, but a little. Oh, we're a little frosty, but this is what we've got. See, this is mounted securely. To be honest, the pump doesn't shake all that much. I don't know that it necessarily needs a bracket to hold it up. Got our vent. I uh, cut it off flush and threaded it in. It's a little loose. I got it gooped with some, some silicone there. We'll have to see. It is just a vent. We'll have to see if it ends up, uh, you know, leaking a bunch with some vent line. Like I said, I don't want to buy anything, so no radiator drain valve. But it's the right size. Probably going to get a bubble down in there, but once again, we'll, we'll find out. My guess is once I start pumping, since it's going to suck air from up here, it'll... It'll snort all that down and be fine. And so far, at least, it's a bucket coverable. If I get that fuel filter hanging off the side there, provided I keep everything nice and tight, I suspect one of those somewhat rectangular uh, laundry soap buckets. Classy. Classy, classy, classy.